actually that early. But it's the earliest I've been up in a while. I it's quite bad. I need to get back into it a bit earlier. Um, but the early start, I'm off to Glasgow for the day. I'm quite excited about some cool guys over at Dave Green. We're going to work with them for the day. And I'll go out with a bit of uh, sample roasting, sourcing, buying, quality control, all that sort of stuff. It's going to be a good day. See you over there. Now at that point in the day, I got really busy. Went and did a load of... Oh, focus. There we are. I got really busy during the day after that. Um, so I went and did a load of buying cupping, which was good. Some great sourcing um, decisions made with the day green guys, which was awesome. Um, but using the Akawa, it kind of rekindled my love for that little sample roasting machine. It's awesome, because you have to put minimal effort into actually using it. You know, once you build the profile, it kind of just does its own thing. And I think I roasted maybe 12 sample roasts, which is nearly two hours of sample roasting overall. Um, and a, on a sample roasting day like that, when the actual production roast so it isn't on, the P25 wasn't on next to it, and I was sample roasting next to the Probat, um, it gives you a chance to go and do a little bit of deep cleaning and stuff and just crack on with the other things. Um, and I've never really done a review about the Akawa because I don't think it's needed. It is a fantastic roasting machine and I absolutely love it. If you're after a sample roaster, you don't want to spend too, too much on a barrel roaster. Um, go and check them out. They've got, they've usually got a stand at the major coffee events. Um, I know there'll be a London Coffee Festival this year. Loads of people have got them. Go and check out Ikawa because they are fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I still love bowel roasting. There's something about the kind of artistry and just the fun of sample roasting on a bowel roaster that I absolutely adore. Um, but yeah, I really love roasting on the Ikawa. I had a great day with the day, Green Guys. Um, I'm sorry there's not more of what happened at Day Green, because it was a lot of cupping and a lot of buying decisions and stuff, it was just really busy. So I'll probably do some more stuff with Day Green in the future, some more videos and things. I'm gonna carry on working with them a little bit more in the future as well. So it's all exciting stuff. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.